Hello again and welcome to another edition of Sudson Country. Hi, I'm Herb Sudson. Welcome to the show. On this show, I'm very happy to say I have Lila McCann. How you doing? Good. How are you? Nashville recording artist Lila McCann is here. All right. I've got a couple of questions for you, All Lila. Right. Your uh, sophomore album, Something in the Air, how's it doing? It's doing pretty well. I think it's sold about um, three to 400,000 copies. Okay. So it's, it's doing pretty well. What was the comment I read where you were a little bit worried about a sophomore jinx because they called a sophomore album. Um, I think a lot of people after their first record, especially if it does pretty well, are worried about putting out something that's just as good as or better than the first record. And a lot of people always call that the jinx album if it yeah. doesn't turn out very well. But... After the second album, you're pretty much uphill? Hopefully. Hopefully, all Hopefully, right. Definitely. You're working on another album. We there. are. I okay. actually start cutting tomorrow. Okay. Um, so, I mean, we're really busy with that, just choosing songs and no. um, all How that kind of stuff. How do you pick songs for an album? It's hard. Is I mean, it? right now, other than just with me finding songs that I like, we have to, to correspond with the label and with, with okay. management and all kinds of stuff. So, it's difficult. The song with you was road tested. Is it better to road test a song before you put you, it out for a single? We usually do. Um, I think... One thing that's fun for us every year as we're working on a new record is to do the new songs during the live shows. And right. we've been doing that right now. We have about four new songs in the set. And it's good to see the way the crowd reacts to the songs because right. if they don't like them, we don't. We already found one that we're not recording uh, for the next a, record. So, a, I mean, it's, it's good to see the way they react to the different songs. You said this album is real universal. What, do you, what, did, what was the term? What did you mean by real universal? I think... Um, by being very universal, I mean that there's a lot of different things on the record that, that all different kinds of people can okay. relate to. Um, just from songs like Kiss Me Now, which would talk about our first kiss, which could be anybody, everybody yes. remembers, you know, the time we were out on a date with somebody and you're just like, oh, just kiss me and get it over yeah, with, right. you know. I mean, <laughs> everybody can relate to that. Um, yeah, just just sure. things like that, um, songs like With You that may pertain to the younger audience and other songs like Go Girl that that relate to the older audience. There was all kinds of stuff on the record that, that could reach out to people. Okay. What's it doing between this album and uh, your first album? Which one I have right here, Lila um, McCann? I think just for me, it was kind of more, <clears throat> more fun for me, really. The second album was just because I'd been in the studio before and, you know, I was getting used to that and all that kind of stuff. The song selection was better for the second album, would you think? or I, I good? think it is a little bit better, and I think even now with a third record, I... You, Second one, you know, second, second one's one kick. We're, we're blowing okay. that one out of the water. Move on to so, third yeah. one. <laughs> are you limited or reluctant to sing about certain subjects because of your age being... Uh, I, you know, I think there are certain things that we do try to, to go around and not really focus on because obviously there are things that I haven't experienced yet in life because I'm still young. Yes. Um, but there are also other things that I have experienced and that I do know enough about to, to portray them in a song. Okay. So. I've watched your videos and some of the subjects are pretty, you know pretty adult for uh yeah i don't think a, we've gone haven't gone, we over haven't gone overboard, no overboard yet, yet. So. okay crushes on the album called something in the air that was a unique video you're upside down that video was hard to make that was like it, a 17 hour video shoot and i had to catch the bus lot that night and come actually to the same place we're playing today and um last year and it was difficult they had me strapped like in harnesses yeah. and i was flying around and doing all kinds of interesting stuff. How long were stuff. you up? Did you, how, how did you actually walk on the ceiling? They actually, they, sh they there is a camera where there's only two of them in the whole world, and it actually shoots upside down. Get out. When it shoots. <laughs> yeah. And we had it that day, and the next day it was in London. So, I mean, wow. it, it's very hard to get, but it seemed to work pretty well. Yeah, pretty impressed. When you perform with other singers, do you draw a younger crowd? Um... It, you know, it always depends on the area. I've noticed lately that we we have a really, really wide variety of people coming to the shows. There's always a lot of young people, but there's every age category out there. And I think especially with the new record, we're trying to kind of reach an audience that we haven't yet caught. So I think that'll be fun. It'll be fun to do. Do, you, do, other, do other singers sing your songs yet? Have you heard anybody sing um, your song? I don't know about anybody really, really famous. Okay. I've, I've met a lot of younger people who have used songs um, like for demos yeah, and um, sure. just like in talent contests and stuff like that, okay. which is that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, just another thought on the same wavelength. Have you heard your songs on any TV shows as a background? Um, or heard only, about them doing it? No, I haven't, okay. actually. Um, the, only, the only song that was ever on TV that I think of was, was To Get Me To You, which was on the movie Hope Floats. Oh, that's right. And, that was um, on the soundtrack. That was right. the only one so yeah. far, I think. So. 
Are you a songwriter? Somewhat, um, in, in my Someone. own respect, I guess, kind of, <laughs> not, not too much. Um, yeah. I had a cut on, on both of the records that we've done so far, and I think right now I'd like to spend more time working with other people and kind of getting better at that, um, but I haven't had time yet, so. The video with you, some, so again, off the album, Something in the Air, planetarium location? Yeah, we were actually at the uh, Griffith Observatory, which is in Los Angeles, where they shot Rebel Without a Cause. There you go. Um, <laughs> but it was that video shoot was fun. We started at four in the morning um, shooting because we had to make it look like it was nighttime and right. we couldn't have the observatory overnight. So it was interesting. Career highlights? What writing and singing with different artists? Um, wow. I, I mean, in the past year, I've got to do so many wonderful things. I think. Um, definitely working with other artists on my last record was cool. I've become really good friends with Brian White and yeah. Steve Warner um, and, Vince and Vince Gill, Gill also <laughs> sang on the album. And I mean, to be around people like that, I feel like, you know, the little baby of everybody. But it was fun. Um, several months ago, I got to work with Barry Manilow and, wow. and do, what did you do a show with him? with him. He had a show called Manilow Country, and there was okay. a whole that. bunch I of different right. country, okay. country artists on there. But that. that was pretty cool, too. Who have you toured with? Um, the first tour I ever did was with George Strait uh -oh. in, in 1998. How'd and that feel? That was really very, very neat. Um, I was the youngest person on the tour, obviously. Mm -hmm. And for me, that was my first tour, so that was kind of my opportunity to, get, to kind of watch everybody and, and get used to being around a lot of people performing, and it was a lot of fun. George is a good guy to work with? Very. He's yeah. cool, yeah. Yeah. You were in the class of, two, you were in the class of 2000. Yes. High school class of 2000. How did it feel? Kind of special? Um, it was cool now that, that it's kind of over with. I mean, when we were in kindergarten, everybody used to tell us we were special because we were the class of 2000. Yeah, 2000. And, and we never really, I don't think we really understood I what know. the big deal yeah. was. But it was, I was very ready for graduation. Ready to go. Um, you know, I wouldn't have, have skipped high school for the world because I had a ton of fun. Right. And, you well, know, were you were cheerleading? Yeah. yeah. I, was, I was doing a little bit of everything. Did You, you were cheerleading in... Uh, the, the video, Yippie Kaye, is that as close to cheerleading as you did, or you, that was, you were dancing in that video? Um, I was more dancing in that video. Okay. We did a lot more cheering. We didn't do too much dancing. Um, we actually went to nationals in Florida for cheerleading, and we got to do all kinds of stuff. I was not a tumbler. I can't even do a cartwheel. Okay. I was bad at that. What, but, what, um, where did you specialize in? Um, I did a little bit of stun partner stunning, which okay. is kind of like what they do in college. Right. I broke my wrist doing that. Did you? So, oh. yeah. But um, I got to do all kinds of stuff. You auditioned for a movie with Brad Pitt. Come on, Lila, tell us about this. Um, it wasn't really actually an audition. I just kind of went in to read. Was he there? For a part. Oh, gosh, no. Oh, um. oh well. <laughs> Pass that one. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, it, was, it was about a year and a half ago, and I actually just went in and read the part, and it was totally well, not, yet. not Yeah, it wasn't well, anything we were really interested how's in. How's Walker, Texas Ranger? It was fun. Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of felt like a dork, but I mean, <laughs> just because <laughs> I'm not much of an actress that. yet, right. and I haven't gotten a chance to do that, but it was fun. Well, let's go back a little bit. Your big break came at age nine. Um, yeah, I yeah. mean, I, I've been singing since I was four. Couple yeah, a couple ago. days ago. A couple days ago. But, um, what was it? Yeah, I met my manager when I was nine okay. years old. And um, she was actually at the time managing like actors and actresses. And um, I met her through her dad. Okay. Out of all people. And um, ended up working with her. And she's still my now, manager now. now you, work, you sang in your dad's band. Uh huh. You are my sunshine, country classic. Yeah. We did all kinds of stuff. I mean, we did. Willie Nelson songs together, and You Are My Sunshine was the first that I ever got up to sing. So who was your who's your favorite artist? Well, who were your favorite singers between the ages of five and twelve? Um, at that point in time, I was a big um, George Strait fan. Oh yeah, still am. Oh yeah, absolutely. and the Juds oh, yeah. when they were together, sure. and, and Trisha Yearwood and Reba McIntyre. I mean, the list is pretty long, but who's is Dad's band still in business? Yeah, I actually just sang with them like two weeks ago. You still go out with the band? Yeah, now? that was like kind of my last time because I'm moving out of the house uh -oh. soon and. I won't be you around. LA? Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of scared. Yeah, are you? But, uh, well, it'll be time interesting. To, time to grow up, I yeah. guess. Where do you where do you do your recording mostly in LA? Oh no, Nashville. 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 So why are you moving to LA? Um, I you know I like I really like yeah. the West Coast, but okay. I'm sick of the rain in Seattle. Oh yeah, so. yeah, right. Okay. Well, you talking? I was read of an article about your food, hot and spicy. Oh yeah. Yeah. I love Mexican food, Cajun, <laughs> anything like that. Tacos. Yeah. yeah. We just actually had those for dinner tonight, so. <laughs> No macaroni and cheese. Oh, I love macaroni. Yeah. And cheese. That's the best thing I can cook anything in a box. Yeah. So <laughs> put the box in the water, yeah. let it go. That's all. Uh, how have your shows changed since you uh, started touring around? Um, I think if anything, I've gotten more comfortable with with being in front of people okay. and talking to them. Um, I was real shy at first about talking 
to the audience. Were you? Um, you were I'm, you able to sing to them or just talk to them? Oh, I was singing was no problem. No problem, right? But okay. in between songs, I was kind of like, okay, the, what do I do now? Yeah, you know, I don't know what to do. Your movements and um, your. But I've become very comfortable on stage yeah. since then. What's your? Uh, what would you be doing if you weren't singing? I have no clue. It has been part of my life for so, so long. long. I mean, sure. I, I, eventually want to go back to school and study psychology of okay. some kind and do that kind of Any thing. Any unusual emails come through? Not, no, not yet. Okay. All right. <laughs> not that I've seen. <laughs> what is your w email address? We might. I'm um, actually LilaMcCann.com is the website. Okay. Um, and it's kind of under construction right now, but I'm sure if you email them, they they yeah, usually try to get it to me. Yeah. What is the one thing you never leave home without? Um, macaroni, box of macaroni. Yeah, cheese. there you go. <laughs> um, usually, um, pictures. Pictures. Pictures of my friends, oh, just nice. because I have a. I finally got a wardrobe case to put like all my show clothes in, and it's plastered with pictures everywhere. What are your hobbies, Lila? Um, what I love doing? taking pictures. There I mean, you I'm go. actually kind of a little bit of a photographer, not too much. Um, just to, I'm kind of trying to learn how to play the guitar better. Um, mm -hmm. I've played for ten years, but I'm not very good at good it at, so. you don't play on your you don't play on I your do show. actually I'm do not it. playing today but um we do sometimes relaxing what do you do to relax oh candles and music and that's I it, like huh? to I just like to veg do you yes yeah. and just hang out embarrassing moments on stage um Anything? actually about a week ago <laughs> um and this never happens to me um we got up to do a song called rhymes with which is on something okay. in the air and I could not remember the words for the life of me and I went through like half of the song going, okay, huh, 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 huh. Yeah. And then finally, like every once in a while, a line would come to me. The backup band and didn't help No, and I'm looking at my fiddle player because yeah. she always huh. sings vocals with me. I'm like, Loretta, what yeah, are the words? Yeah. And she's like, I can't remember. remember like either. everybody, just because we, I think and just because we were thinking about it. I was laughing most right, of the time. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> and the audience loved it too, I'll bet. Mm -hmm. Goal to the future is back to education? Um, Pretty sooner much. or later, yeah. I mean, I want to produce eventually okay. um, and, and write more songs and do things like that. That's Nothing wrong with that. Well, Lila, I want to thank you for being on Suds and Country. Appreciate you spending thank some time you. with us here in Suds and Country. And if you're around and you see Lila McCann in your area, I suggest you go see her show because she's good. I saw all your videos and your, the videos right came out good. Thank you. So, this is Herb. Until next time, be well, everybody. Bye-bye.